This is a demo video which will demonstrate how to connect to a server using remote desktop connection. So in Windows 7 the remote desktop tool is available just by simply typing in remote down at the bottom and clicking on uh, on such the remote desktop connection. At that point you simply type in your server name here and there's some options which can be assigned such as a username and how things are being displayed. This is very important and, and changing things to 16-bit can be helpful for increasing speed as well as you know mapping local resources. So you can map drives like C drives and various network shares and things like that over the uh, over this tool and you can also go ahead and um, get capture remote audio or, or even um, a remote microphone so there's programs that can be run when you start and stop this and also we can select the speed of our network so it knows kind of like how much to push it now once you have typed all this stuff in you simply have to hit connect and it'll bring up a window like this and um, I'm going to go ahead and log in to the server here. And now, once I'm logged into the server, I'm actually inside of an RDP connection. So this is a Microsoft 2003 server. And it has got um, quite a few different things installed on it that I can utilize and run if necessary. So when I move my mouse up here, I get a little drop down bar and I can go and, and actually minimize that. So the difference is that I'm now in control of my regular computer versus being in control of this other environment which is living inside of a server and nobody else can see me moving my mouse and manipulating these windows because I'm in a remote desktop session and that's how it works so you know a lot of people want to close out of this they'll go up here to close and that is actually not the correct way to do it if you click close like this then whatever you had open is just going to remain open and I will give you an example this is a test now I'm going to actually close and I'm going to just end the remote session. Then I'm going to go back into the remote control tool and I'm going to log back in. Now when I log back in as my username, my session is still open so this program is still running in the background. That may sound really convenient except when you have a larger server and there's lots of users logging in there and users don't log out. Then things like printers sometimes don't reconnect. When you, you, when you come back or resources on the server are being used to hold uh, the states of programs and memory is being utilized uh, that, that's just unnecessary to use. So always click on the start button and actually log off. Um, don't ever try to do a shutdown, just do a log off. Once you log out, then you're right back on your desktop and that's really all there is to it. That's how to use the remote desktop program to remote control a session using Microsoft RDP.